Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So today what I was doing for myself, for my garden, was um, planting some seed. But I wanted to make it a little bit easier on myself with some of these seeds because they are so very infinitesimally small. Uh, like the bok choy, I don't know if we can get those on. They're, they're like poppy seeds. They're so, so tiny. And then also carrot seeds are very, 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 very small. So I was going to make some seed tape and what that does is it not just helps you space out your seed so that you don't have to thin them out later, which kills me. I don't know why it kills me to do that. It, I just feel like I'm like, Whoa! It's like my little babies and I'm ripping them out of the ground, which is silly, but that's, that's, that's how it is. And, um, and another thing that it also helps with is if it's windy, they're not blowing away in the wind and you're not losing them in the dirt and forgetting where exactly it was that you planted your seed because they're all the same color. And if you've freshly tilled or mixed up your soil, even if it's in, like, I have garden beds, raised beds, I went through and I turned up all the soil because I amended it and I added compost and had to turn it all over again so it's real loose and fluffy. Well, these little teeny tiny seeds don't need to be planted more than a quarter to a half, of a, half an inch deep and if your soil is loose and airy like it's supposed to be, those little seeds can just fall down too far and then they're buried too deep and then it takes too much energy for them to even get above the soil level. So, so let's solve this problem. In this little bowl, I have about a quarter of a cup of water, just regular out of the tap water. And this is my mason jar, my ball jar of cornstarch. And to this quarter cup of water, I put, I'm gonna say a teaspoon and a half, maybe. And I just stir that up real well. And then this gets popped into the microwave for 20, 30 seconds. So I will go put this in the microwave and be right back. Now, after only about 20, 30 seconds, just stir it up real well. It will, it will start cooking in the middle. You do not have a microwave. Perhaps you could use, if you have a Keurig, you could get some hot water out of a Keurig or you could put some water in a tea kettle and get it hot and then pour it and stir it in and then that will make this slurry. It, it cooks the, the cornstarch just enough to swell the granules and so it makes a slurry, but not enough to where it's going to turn it into a jellified mass because you want it about the consistency of, I don't know, heavy cream is all you want it. You can also use regular flour if you want as well, regular wheat flour. So I'm going to take some toilet paper. I know it is a blessed resource right now. And I am going to stretch out about, see my garden beds are like 46 inches long each of them so maybe I'll do like 23 inch lengths which is about that much and because this is two ply I'm going to just split it that might be too much for the seeds to have to try to break through anyway some of these littler ones and if your toilet paper rips it's it's okay some people use paper towels I, I usually don't. I usually just use some toilet paper. You can also use um, tissues, like uh, Kleenex tissues, as long as they're not like the Puffs Plus with the lotion on them. I, I, I wouldn't use those. Just something thin that will, that will disintegrate is what you want. Now I'll be able to do several rows here, so probably four rows, but I'm not going to cut it apart yet. What I'm going to do is I put 
some of my slurry from the cornstarch in this little needle nose bottle. And I get these on Amazon, I don't know, like a dozen of them for six bucks or something like that. But you know that your slurry is, is, is perfect if it just drops right out. Let me turn you in here a little bit. So let's do the carrot seeds first. I, I'm gonna do one seed at a time so that I don't lose track of what I'm doing because you, you know I will. You can guarantee that. And in order to see them, I am going to just put some out on a paper plate so I can, I can see them. And what you wanna do is you wanna find out what the spacing needs to be. So you'll have to look on your package for the thinning amount because it will say once your seedlings have reached so high then thin them out to this many seedlings per how many inches apart and then that that's how you put them on the seed tape so what i'm going to do is take i'm just going to put that one on top of that little that little glue spot and put put some glue on top of it just to hold that one just to hold that one down and what's so nice about doing it on the grid is I can, I can see what I'm doing. So you can do it either way. You can put the dot down and then put your seed down, or you can put the seed down and then just put a dot on top of it. So I'm going to plant mine, I don't know, about a half an inch apart. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> well, I think that it's not going to take any more time to do this than it would to plant them and then have to go out there and thin them out later. So I'm thinking six of one, half a dozen of another, and then this way you're not wasting seed because you're not ripping little seedlings out of the ground as much as you would if you were gonna be thinning them. Does that make sense? These carrots are small carrots. They're a small, they're called uh, little fingers. So if you are planting bigger, bigger carrots, then they would not be this close together. And for those of you out there that are like really OCD, and I can relate, I'm not OCD, like everything doesn't make me crazy if it's not a certain way. But those of you who, who are, I can, I can empathize and think of the perfect rows of seed that you're going to have because you've done this. So how satisfying is that going to be when you have these perfect rows of, seed, of seedlings coming up? Oh, you're just going to love it. It's just going to rock your world. So see how cute they are? So I'm going to set this one aside. This is my carrot seeds and I'm going to take um, another stretch of the of the toity paper and I'm just going to set this one aside. When the as these dry, the seeds will stick to the paper and and that cornstarch slurry glue stuff that we made. And and the glue doesn't have to be super duper thin or super duper thick. It just needs to be goopy. If you don't have a little needle nose bottle, you could probably make it thicker than I do because I wanted, I just wanted it thick enough to be able to go through the, the nose of the bottle. So the bok choy seeds are holy cow little and uh, the baby bok choy is supposed to be thinned to about every four inches. So that's what I'm going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a seed about every four inches. And then I will have enough seed to plant next year too, because I won't be planting seed for not. So yeah, if you're gonna be planting, let's say in a 12 inch round planter and you're going to be doing microgreens or something like that. You could rip out your toilet paper to be to be about that size. You could configure it all in the size that you need and plant in whatever configuration that you want and then you could just go lay it on top of your soil in the planter 
and cover it with a half of an inch of of even potting soil and you're good to go. It, it's done. It's, it's a done deal. And you just wa keep it watered. You don't let your seeds dry out, of course. But you don't, you don't want to drown them, but you don't want to let them dry out either. The seeds need consistent moisture to germinate and to thrive. But this is basically all you do. And so if you two are planting a garden this year or even planting in some planters and you want a little bit more control or you want to be able to not waste seed, then make yourself some seed tape. If you've got cornstarch or flour, then you can you can make seed tape. But it's kind of a it's kind of a neat project. If you have kids, they might really like doing something like this. Alright guys, well that's all I wanted to show you today. I was just taking a break from working on my book and I noticed how windy it was outside and I had gotten the garden beds ready this past weekend and so they're ready for the cooler seasoned crops to go in like radishes and baby bok choy and beets but it's so windy that I didn't want to lose all my seeds in the wind seeds in the wind so I know it sounds I know it sounds romantic but it's not so I thought some seed tape would be would be a good idea this year okay guys I will let you go this was just a quick little a quick little fun thing in case you're gardening and you're stuck inside and you've got seeds and cornstarch and toilet paper but nothing to do <laughs> you can give the kids something to do Okay, I will let you go. See you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.